Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, this dysfunctional, dysfunctional world. I'm your boy, said, aka Mr. Let's Talk. Well, let's talk. What are we talking about today? How smart are we as a race? Society. Society. Oh, as a race. How smart are we as a race? American race, I mean. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Because yeah, 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 yeah. as a black, as the black race, as a member of the black race, how smart are we as a race? That's a good question, but that's the topic for another. But that is really a good, oh, that's a good one. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. <laughs> I'm ready to go in on that one, but I'm not. So, All right, well, let's jump to that one. Then. You want to jump to that one? Let's jump to that one. All right, so how smart are we as a, as a race? <laughs> as a race of people? How smart are black people, African American, Negroes? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> uh, uh, you gonna run us down first, or let, we go? We go? We go? We go to our accomplishments first. Um, let's just go straight to the accomplishments. Okay, yeah. go ahead. Go since ahead. since we talking about how smart we Shoot are, from the hip, let's go. Okay, so um, February, Black History Month, uh -oh. right? Do most of y'all know why Black History Month is in February? No, said tell mm, us. To celebrate, and I want to get it right, W.E.B. Du Bois. Mm. That's why it's in February. Okay. And, and, and if, it's, if it's not him, then it's... um The other one? No, he did the Cotton Gym, right? W.E.B. Yeah. yeah, I think that was he him. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, it's to celebrate his birthday, I believe, or his passing, one or the other. But that's okay. why it's in February. Okay. But one of the reasons. But, uh, I, which I think that's a great accomplishment, right? That is a great it, it really is. But, but, <laughs> mm. fast forward from, from his time all the way to, to till today, and we got kids who cannot read a clock unless it's digital. It just shows what, what we're not teaching anymore. The fundamentals that we're missing. I mean, but it's like, do you I mean, know how... teach somebody that, they can't, they can't learn. Well, yes, they can. Yes, they can. Yes, they, they can learn. That. That's like saying... If I wasn't taught Spanish, I couldn't learn Spanish. Right. I can learn Spanish on my own. You still have to get taught it by somebody. Well, oh, absolutely. But I'm saying, <laughs> if the school didn't teach me, right, then yeah, I can seek it out on my own right. and learn it. Yeah. But if they can't, if they can't read an hourglass, I mean, you know, what I'm saying the, the the watch, the the shorthand, the longhand, but these motherfuckers know binary code. Think about that, y'all. These kids know coding, coding. Like what you see in the Matrix, coding. You know what I'm talking about. But they can't read a clock as far as shorthand and longhand. That right there is amazing to me, just because of how hard coding is. But but okay, you gotta look at it like this. So let's say perfect example, the the, the parable where he says, "My dad worked hard, my granddad worked hard, such and such becomes easy for my son." Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's say mm -hmm. let's say this generation grows up with a, with a, with a mini computer in their hand, mm -hmm. right? This is what they grow up with. Yes, they come up with that. Yes, when we first got introduced to computers, mm -hmm. it ran on them but binary codes. Right. Every person did not have a computer. Right. Until they dumbed them down for regular people. Right. Right. To, to mass production. Right. Mm -hmm. So now, if you go to fast forward, you got a generation that grows up on a, a mini computer in their hand. Mm -hmm. They gonna know that. Right. They're going to learn all that. Oh, that's going to be easy accessible because that's what, that's like Spanish. If right. I speak it to you, then you'll, you'll, you'll speak it back. You know what I'm saying? If I speak it to you, yeah, like English. Mm -hmm. If I speak it to oh, you. Oh, you mean as a child? Yeah. yeah. If yeah. I speak it to you, then you'll speak yeah. it back. Yeah, because that's, that's what you'll grow up uh, hearing. Right. Or, or so they right. Grow, they're growing up with computers in their hand. Right. But they're missing the, 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 the things that we learned. Right. But. Like arithmetic stuff, they don't like the way they do math now. Oh, yeah, they got new math. Totally different than the way we did one plus one. Yes, absolutely, and I agree with that. But so, do you blame the child for not being as smart? Yes. In in a department that we were, mm -hmm. or do you blame the people that's teaching the child or yes. not teaching the child? I blame everybody. Okay. Because still today, in most classrooms, right, there's still a clock on the wall. Right, but they got a cell phone in their hand too. Right, but see now you're making excuses for them though. I'm not making. The, I'm just saying. No, if, but if that's you, an excuse. Okay, that's an excuse, bro. If, if it's, got, if it's if a clock, a, if you got a digital clock in your hand, in your hand, right, right. Why would you look up at this clock ever? Okay, right. But my so point, then, then the only person that would bring you to to look at that clock to mm -hmm. teach you about it would be the teacher, because obviously your parents at home don't use it, or if they do use it, mm -hmm. you use the digital. Right. 
Okay, but my point being, the technology still exists. Yeah. It, if it was a technology that wasn't around, then I, mean, I could that, feel okay, you on okay, that. Okay, okay. But this technology is here. This thing, you doing this. Okay, hold on, hold on. And you look up on. at the board and you see a clock. Let me ask you something. Okay. Do you know how to work at Abacus? Yes. The t t t t t yes, I do. And why is that? Because yeah. I wanted to learn how to do it. Because I seen it in uh, all the Chinese movies. That's what they use. And I'm like, what is that? But a lot of Americans don't. Right. But because even though it's it's modern technology, it's still around. Right. People don't use it. Right. Okay. Right. But still, they rely on technology. And the they smartphone do. make people dumb. It does. So, and that's one of the reasons. These dumb to can't a point. Even, dumb to a point. Well, yeah. It, it makes them smart enough to learn binary. But it makes them dumb to rely on their cell phone. It does. You see it, what I'm saying? If it dies, their whole world The whole world is over. So, yes. Because, so now, like I said, and I keep going to the clock because that's one of the most basic things. Okay, okay, let's take it off the clock. Kids can even, some kids, and it's in the video, and I'm not knocking kids. We just talk about how they raised and the technologies. They didn't know how to use a rotary phone, right? Which is fine. <laughs> but they couldn't even figure it out. I mean, if you've never used it before, I, I can see it being a little difficult. You get, see, you get people too much slack. I ain't gonna lie. I'm just, I'm just thinking, <laughs> you got I them mean, too much slack. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying, <laughs> if, you, if you never use, well, I don't know, because it was like common sense for us. They don't have common sense like we had common sense. No, because everything is on their phone. Everything right, is. Right, but I'm just hey, saying, hey, like, okay. And you I look at a rotary phone. phone will activate. You look at a rotary, <laughs> you look at a rotary phone. Uh huh. And you think nine. So they think they got to dial it nine times. Right. Absolutely. But if you just go to the button nine and pull, that's nine spaces. Right. See, but they don't even think you got to dial it nine times because they don't even know that it dialed. If you, you know what I'm saying? Like, and see, all I'm saying is like. Like what you said earlier, if it's not taught to them, they're not going out their way to learn something right, extra. Right, right, right. But it's like you don't understand how crucial that could be. Like you said, if your cell phone died, now you got to read your read the time off a watch, or but you the, can't the read sun. Or, the, or the sun, which you, you definitely ain't doing that. And, and this is <laughs> you know what I'm saying they, they, they definitely ain't doing that. But it's like uh, a lot of kids nowadays ain't going to the military neither, so you're not learning these basic skills. Like right, you said, the, right. the time off the sun, right. So they're not doing that neither, and it's, everything is relying. Or if they are going to the military, they're going for a computer-based idiom. The ones that are right that, because they, they teach them more computer-based idioms. Right, and it's then like if the, the, the the generator shut down and all the computers shut down. They will be useless unless they learn how to fight as well and hold a rifle. Then they mm -hmm. might become useful then. But and that's why people are so fearful of of automation AI. I don't know if they're fearful. They, no, they, they, they fearful. They they keep dealing in it like they trying to like they matter of fact. Okay, I watched this on today. Uh huh. It was talking about uh, trading stocks. Okay. And it was saying how how they got an AI that 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 records profits mm -hmm. on trading stock faster than you could go through them and think about which mm -hmm. stock to 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 sell or trade or buy or whatever. I can believe it. And they mm -hmm. like you. They like if you get in on this right now, you can get in on on, on a on a. The, the money because mm -hmm. the AI just doing it. And I said okay, they, yeah, because they make they they make they reason they reasonable deductions and they like okay they able to pick and shit. AI AI is gonna replace I, a lot of people on their job. And then I thought that's what they said too. It is. That, that was the second thing they said that, towards the end of the, uh, the, 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 the the commercial. I guess it was. Mm -hmm. They were like, yes, hey, the way AI is rising. It's going to be competitive for humans in a lot of different job areas. And I said, wow, yes, y'all yes, don't is. understand. Y'all keep pushing this, this narrative until until doomsday here. It's going to happen. And Terminator 2 is real. <laughs> but it's, and you and know, it's crazy because, you know, when, when I was thinking about that, I was thinking about that video I sent you with the little robot. It looked like that, a Lego. That, that, that melts it. That melts mm -hmm. down and, and builds itself back up. Mm -hmm. But it looked like a Lego. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's a real robot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hell. Um, but they, they said they had a good reason for it. They always say that. I don't believe nothing they say. <laughs> the good know, reason bro. was, it, 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 let's say, so it could go inside the body and fix foreign objects. I mean, so like, let's say you swallow some, it can melt down, right? Go in your throat, and, push, yeah. push whatever's lodged in your throat out or in your brain. If if, if there's a, uh, uh, what what is that? A gland. A oh, gland mm -hmm. that, that, that's not producing right, mm -hmm. but it's overproducing. That, that the robot can go in there and stop it or push it so that it produces more. Right. Do do what it needs to do. Right. But see, I just so see that them, sounds like a good idea. I see them using that 
you know what I'm saying, in some type of <laughs> negative, nefarious way, you know what I'm talking about? Like, I definitely see them doing something crazy with it. Oh, and then I can see, I can see some hood nigga on the block, bro. I got that. <laughs> I got that melted Lego. You be like, what? The melted Lego? You know what I'm talking about? Hey, bro, how you get that? Don't even worry about it. <laughs> but the melted yeah. Lego. <laughs> I got that melted Lego, bro. I got it. I got that. You be like, you got that? How? How you get that? How do I how do I set it up? <laughs> for real. How much you charge? How much you tax? For real. Man, give me give me six hundred thousand. Give me six hundred thousand. Crypto? Uh, crypto. Speaking of weird, bro. Uh -oh. They just <laughs> They just released the first well, they saying it's a motorcycle. Okay. But it's kind of flat like a car. But they just released the first one at a car auto show in I think it was Detroit or some somewhere. But that'd be seven hundred and seventy seven thousand. That's the price of it. 777000 What does it do? It's a flying motorcycle. <laughs> like, it hovers up like this, and then it, you know what I'm saying? But it's 777000 So, in that situation, it's smart that the technology can do that, but it's dumb if anybody buy it at that price. That's one of them big boy toys. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's all it is, because... That ain't for that ain't like commercial. It wouldn't, yet, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be so crazy because it's not like other people don't buy stuff just to be the first one to say they got. And that's what I'm saying. But it'd be the big boys who do that because yeah. I can't afford seven hundred seventy thousand, seven hundred seventy seven thousand. But you got to think though, as as things become more plentiful for everybody, mm -hmm. the prices drop for things. Yes, yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like if everybody could afford a Lambo, Lambos would be the same price as Toyota. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everybody can't afford a Lambo. Right. Exactly. Right. A Lambo is two hundred fifty thousand. It's special. Yeah. And a Toyota is thirty six thousand. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Because it, and that one is more affordable, but this one is more high end and luxury. Yeah. Absolutely. But you know, one day, one day I'm telling you. So, <laughs> but I don't even want. You know what I'm saying? I don't want a, a Lambo and all that. I lease it. You know, for like a month. Then you know. <laughs> But I don't, I don't, want, I don't want one because I understand how much it costs to keep the upkeep. And that's what I'm talking about. You that's know, the why. upkeep is not worth. Nope. You know, when you're spending 30000 on oil change, you know what I'm saying, 10000 on tires, like mm -mm, 3000 for headlights per light. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and when you get your oil change, there's three oil pans in there. So mm. think about whatever price they tell you, that's times three. <laughs> that's times three. But I think I think with <clears throat> stuff like that, it's it's a lifetime, for the first ten years anyway. Okay, okay. You know, because that it would be astronomical to to drive a Lamborghini every day and have to get a normal oil change it's right every three months. Yeah, five to six hundred, seven hundred dollars on a on a routine routine basis. Yeah, that would be crazy. But, but that's why T Pain said he sold his because <laughs> he said he didn't know this. And he had brought one, and then he went to get the oil change, and they told him what it was. <laughs> I think he said he had got two oil changes before he was like, no. Nah. Cause like ten thousand a piece, so that's thirty thousand on his oil chain. You know what I'm saying? He had literally paid thirty thousand dollars for oil chain. I mean, it'd be cool to pull up at the school. You know what I'm saying? Drop my son off in a Lambo, but mm -hmm. that'd be dope as fuck. But that's why I said I lease it because yeah, realistically, it, like they got a, they got a. Uh, right, you can lease one for three thousand, four thousand. They 000, got a, uh, and you good, and then turn they that shit in uh, after they thirty a, days. Yeah, they got a what you call it? They got a. Uh, a company, and they're they're they're, they're raffling off a, a Lamborghini Huracan, mm. and it's purple, and it got all the bells and whistles. And it comes with sixty grand, and it's supercharged. Oof! And they're like, you can keep it, you can sell it, you can do whatever you want to do with it. I already got it in my head. I'm selling it. I just like I just don't want to enter the raffle and not win. Right. Cause right. I, I mean, I, like they, they're giving like 400 entries away right now. Damn. So let's talk about like something that costs forty eight dollars. That's 412 entries or something like that. Damn. But um, the flip side is, if I could get 400 entries, you can get 400 entries. Right. So unless I go buy like uh, 16, 17 items to ensure mm -hmm. that I win this Lambo. And that's still not a that's, guarantee, right? Right. That's and it's not like money, and not and not like it puts you in the next raffle. You gotta mm -hmm. buy something else. Yeah. And then one of they people end up winning. <laughs> that's how they do it. 
But yeah, so how how how, how smart, smart are we, we as, as a society? A oh, excuse me, as a race, right? Because yeah, cause we 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 kind of yeah. Smart so as race. a race, because you see, and I hate to say, a lot of the ghetto bull ish be us. A lot of the fighting be us. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the embarrassing shit be us. Now, of course, at the same time, a lot of the superstar athletes be us. A lot of the best singers and entertainers be us. A lot of the scientists and engineers be us. And so that's cool. So we, we're 50-50 right now? I, I, yeah. Yeah. And hopefully we can push it past that. So but we're, yeah, the, I can we're, see we're right the now. smartest and the dumbest right now? Yes. And the ratchetest and the ghettoest and the... Yeah. Yep, I, I hate all that because like we great and sorry at the same time. But we influence on both ends. We influence a lot on on both ends. You right? You, oh, you right. Unfortunately, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I know. I know. Right I, know I know. Children. Like I know children and women that want to be ratchet because that's what it seems like the end thing to do. Right. Yep. Yep. That's, uh, the, only, the, only, like. the only the only the only gangster, which. Our gangster sucks. Mm. Like our gangster is hard, but our gangster folds mm. a lot. Like Yakuza don't fold, mafia folds. You know, I think we fold as almost as much as mafia. But like Mexican cartels, uh, Colombia, uh, they don't fold. Them cats don't tell. They just take that hundred and twenty year sentence. Like yo, fuck it. <laughs> They knew what it was. Yeah. Get 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 their face tatted up, be in a prison shot calling. But we we fold. I I, don't, I ain't never like that about us. We fold. I mean, is that because people got smarter or people got dumber? You see what I'm saying? Like did they get smarter and wise enough? We, we, like we, I'm we not been, taking it. We've been folding for years, so I don't know. That's true. I, I don't <clears> but, know. Yeah, yeah, some folks have Frank Lucas folded. Nikki Byrne folded. Did Frank Lucas fold? If you tell, you tell. Just because you may not. Just cause, okay. Yeah, but he told on cops. Hold on. He still told, though. He told on the mafia, too. That's still telling. No, I didn't know that part. I thought he just told them because in the movie they, they, yeah, he only that, told on yeah, cops. In the movie, it, it's not a hundred percent accurate. Right, right. He told on the <laughs> he cops. He told on the cops, right. right? But he told on the mafia too. Oh, okay. He told on the people that he was buying from. Mm. He just didn't tell on his brothers and his cousins and all them. Nikki told. Yeah. Okay. Wait out. Yeah. Nino Brown. No. Yes. No. Yes. Nikki Barnes was Nino Brown. No. Yes. Nino Brown is the, the brothers. Nikki Barnes, right? Yeah. And Nino Brown. No. Yes. From New Jack City. Yes. That's Nikki Barnes. That's the same character. It's not. That's who he got the inspiration from. They couldn't use his name. No. Yes. No. Yes. It, the, the, okay, okay, look. Let's let's bet dinner on it. Whoever wrong got to buy dinner for the other one. When? Tonight? No, just whenever. We, it's just a bet. All right, man. All right. <laughs> I'm with, I'll take that bet. Just, you know, whenever. Yeah, just a, I'll yeah. take that bet. All right, all right. All right, moving on. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, Alpo told. Mm. Damn. But, I. oh, yeah, 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 because that's the one who recently got killed, right, when he got released? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was thinking of, hey, I always get their, get their names confused with, you know, what happened. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Cause he was talking that rough stuff when he got out, and, and he was still in that neighborhood too. Like, why? Yeah, he went back to Harlem. Yeah. No, that's what he said. I ain't gonna tell on Harlem. I'm a king in Harlem. Oh. But I tell on everybody else. He told on DC. Cause that's oh. where that's where he expanded to. Yeah. So he told on Rayful. He told on uh, uh, Wayne Wayne Perry. Uh -huh. And he told on a bunch of other dude. He, he admitted to murders. Said he he, he 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 admitted to murder that he ordered. He told. Damn. But yeah, Nikki told over a woman. Mm, mm, mm. That should be crazy though. The Detroit dudes did that. What Detroit dudes? Some of the best friends, like either, oh, either yeah, the best okay. friends or the ones that came after the best friends or some somewhere in that conjunction. Like uh -huh. why the best friends was running. Right. They told. Hmm. So that's what I'm saying. It's been going on for a long time. Slaves been telling on other slaves. I mean, but if that's the case, then that definitely just ain't us. 
That that definitely ain't just us. Right. I said the mafia do it. All of them do. I said the ma- the, the cartels are the only ones that don't do they it. They probably yeah. They probably would be or the last they, ones. Uh, to if do they it. do it, they'd be real low level. Yeah, they would probably be the last ones too. I agree with you on that though. And the Asians, they don't tell. The yakuza, they they don't tell. They take it to blood. You know. Yeah. Death before dishonor. Yeah, I can I can see that too. I can see that too, but now I the Germans say, they tell, this, and the Russians. I think it's gonna come down to the person. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because, like you said, you know those organizations, like you know your Kuzas and Cartel. Yeah, they 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 members know you snitch. It's a wrap. <laughs> if we can't get you, <laughs> we get your family. Right. So yeah. they not. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, American now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They niggas just snitching. Just mm-mm. yeah. But I mean, even even with that, like. Let's say we smart enough to make a quarter or more than some million dollars in drug selling, but we're not smart enough to do it and not hurt our own people. We're not smart enough to do it and get away with it. Mm, mm -hmm. I don't know any kingpin that ain't been in jail. They all go. They all go of all races. That's, well, some more than (laughs) others. Um, yeah, yeah, uh, it's it's crazy though. It's, it's crazy. So as a society, how smart are we? Then I look at the kids that do dances, mm-hmm. TikTok dance. Mm-hmm. One of us that create a TikTok dance and go viral. Mm-hmm. The whole world want to do this dance. Young to old people. Like, was it dumb or was it brilliance? A glimpse, a glimpse, it, of, a glimpse of brilliance. Yeah, I mean, yeah. And something like that, you just, when it's dancing or entertainment, you just never know. I mean, we do dance and sing and all is better than everybody else, right? <laughs> but, that, but that's because of literally shucking and jiving okay. from back in the day during slave trade. And mm-hmm. you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? That we were the entertainment. So naturally, we grew up. You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about through the millenniums and all these years and we shit. Got, we got, uh, it passed got, down. Uh, got, uh, we were the entertainment. Gladiators too. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying as far as like a child who can dance now, mm-hmm. like currently, well, your mama probably knew how to dance because her mama knew how to dance because her mama, you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So dancing and, and, and rhythm and all that came to us naturally. Right. So these kids on TikTok doing these dances and they go viral, that's because these kids can just naturally dance and everybody's impressed by it. Because they do be impressive. I ain't gonna lie. And I like to see little kids dance because I think they dance better than the adults. Like some of the adults, I mean, they can dance too, but you know, right, kids just right, like they—they right. they more natural with it. They have, the they have, they have uh, uh, unpurposeful yeah it, reason it, for doing it. Like it was it, literally just for fun, just for fun, and it like just said, blew up, right? Yep, and you can see the the the, the pure joy in their face, and it's natural. It ain't like you know, I don't know. But all right, y'all, we definitely want to uh, keep this conversation going, so be sure to drop a comment. How smart do you think we are as a society? Excuse me, as a race. We're going to talk about as a race. Let's do that. Just as a race. How smart do you think we are? And how dumb do you think we are? Like, do you think that we have regressed over all these years? Um, Mm -hmm. I know they say um, uh, black women, especially, are are the most enrolled in college, right? That says a lot. But black men are not too far behind them. So that says a lot as well. And these numbers are up. But at the same time, so were violent crimes, drug sales, uh, grape. You know what I'm talking about? So it's like all these other stuff is up too. So it's like, eh, are we smarter? Are we dumb? Are we 50-50? Is it 50-50? Hey, y'all. With that being said, I'm your host, this Dysfunctional. Dysfunctional's work. I'm your boy, Bowhead Said. We out of time to the next time. Screaming, let's talk. Peace. Peace.